Alright, it's time for another math. Easy solution. Trying to discuss another example on implicit differentiation, and now look at an example that involves trigonometry. Uh, basically, in my earlier videos, I went over introduction to implicit differentiation, as well as some examples, so make sure you watch those in the video links below. So basically, uh, this example I'm going to go over, find y prime if sine of x plus y equals y squared times cos of x. So now, with implicit differentiation, we can find a derivative implicitly or indirectly without having to solve for y as a, as a function of x. Because as you can see, this this would just be, uh, I don't even know if you, you can solve for y in terms of x. It's just going to be hard in this example. So, but, you, but to find a derivative, we don't need to solve for it directly. We could just take derivative of the left side and right side and find y prime or the derivative implicitly. So what I mean by that, if we take derivative of the left side here, so we'll just write d sine x plus y over dx. So this is whatever you do to the left side, you have to do to the right. So y prime cos of x over dx right here. So we're going to find dy over dx by taking derivative in terms of x on both sides. So derivative of sine x plus y, this is just going to be cos x plus y, that's derivative of sine. I see a proof of that in the video links below and also the proof of uh, the root of cosine of x in the video links below. So basically, so now we have to apply chain rule. You can also see the proof for that, and, and I'm going to do product rule later. So make sure to just watch, uh, look at the related videos for any other uh, videos related to this video. So basically, now the root of, of the inside function x plus y, the root of x is 1, using the power rule. And now the root of y is just going to be, well, y prime. That's what we have to find out. And now this equals to the on the right side derivative of using product rule. First, we take derivative of this this uh, y, y squared. That's going to be two y. Then using chain rule, y prime. Let's fix this y up. And now times this by what are, this this function cos of x. But now we have to add. We put the y squared, and now take derivative of cos of x, and that's going to be negative sine of x right here. So we have this one, now we just try to simplify and expand this out to solve for y prime. So multiply this inside, we'll get uh, cos x plus y, uh, that's times one, and then plus y prime cos x plus y. And now this equals two on uh, this side, so yeah, this basically this equals two y, y prime cos of x, and now minus y squared sine of x right here. So now we got to solve for y prime, but since there's a negative here, uh, I, I don't want to have negatives in the answer, or too much negative, so I, I'll move this to the left side, and then uh, basically move the y primes to the right side. So move all the y primes on this side just to make it easier, and I'm also going to factor out the y prime. So in this, and on the left side, we're going to have cos x plus y plus y squared. I just didn't want a negative there. That's why I moved it to the left side sine of x equals 2, I'll factor in the factor out the y, y prime, let's put a bracket, so now we have 2y cos of x, and now we're subtracting this side here, so negative cos x plus y, so this is a pretty easy way to do it, if you want to get the, if you're solving for one term, like y prime, factor it out of all the like terms, there's a y prime in there, a y prime in here, and now just subtract, or move it to one side. So we have this cos x plus y there. And now we could just solve for y prime by dividing this out to this side. So we get y primes equal to, yes, y primes equals just to this left side divided by this right side, or cos x plus y plus y squared times sine x uh, divided by two cos x uh, minus cos x plus y. So this is the, the derivative. So we found a derivative implicitly in terms of x and the original function y. And this makes things uh, much easier than actually solving for y itself. Uh, so now, uh, if, just uh, just an, another little uh, quick part to illustrate this better. Let's say if you want to take derivative of y prime at z po point zero and zero at x equals zero and y equals zero, this would just be well cos of zero plus zero here. That we put the zero in here, and now this one's going to be zero. There's a y, so zero minus cos 0, and cos 0 is just 1, so we'll have 1 over negative 1 or equals negative 1. So as you can see, you can find derivative pretty easily. But uh, and also another note, to make sure that 0 and 0 is actually on the curve, you can just plug that inside here. So sine of 0, uh, if you plug in 0, let's, that would just be equal to 0, and then on the right side, 
that's going to be zero. So as you see, it equals zero on the right side. So it is correct. So zero, zero is a point on X1, two. Just, just to show you, you can take the rid of it, et cetera. You can find it out numerically by just by plugging in numbers and checking it instead of actually solving for Y. Well, anyways, that's all for today. Hope you learned from this video. And remember, you could add download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.